Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Monday, November 15th, 2021. Alright, let's get started. One across. Alternative to subway or taxi. Maybe that could be a bus? Those are all forms of public transportation. Call to Little Bo Peep. That's got to be Ba, right? From her sheep? Military branch for sailors? I think that's got to be the U.S. Navy. On the lowdown. Hmm. Is that going to be secretly? Yeah, that looks really good. Okay. Hold on blank. Hold on a sec. Let's look at this long answer here. This may be a theme answer. I think this one is definitely going to be a theme answer. Let's take a peek here. Last runner in a relay. I think that's going to be the anchor leg, maybe. A leg is a section of a relay race. Okay, we've got a leg. Let's try to build down through anchor leg. Slice and dice. Maybe chop up. Month for trick-or-treaters. That's October. That was just a couple of weeks ago. Win tripled catchphrase of the Muppets Swedish chef. Oh man, um, what does he say? It's like Dirk, Dirk, Dirk or something, right? I don't know how to spell that. Uh, is it like that? I have a feeling that's not quite right. Let's try and build off of it. Privately includes on an email. No, that should be BCCs, blind carbon copies. Okay, so I think it's Bork, 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 Bork. That sounds better, yeah, okay. Completely zen, that's calm. World's fastest land animal, up to 70 miles per hour. Oh my god, that's definitely the cheetah. That's hard to imagine running that fast. Icing, essentially. It's essentially sugar. Yeah, okay. And then we have Oahu here. Most populous Hawaiian island, that sounds right. All right, let's take a peek at this really long across here. 1986 number one hit by Falco. I think that's Rock Me Amadeus, right? Um, I think that's how it's spelled, yeah. Okay, Anchor Rock Leg Amadeus, hmm. I wonder if these first parts are gonna be part of a theme. They're both really heavy things. Hmm, it's a long story, hmm. I wonder if this is going to be an Edda, that's the Norse mythology, that could be a long story. Farm towers? No, that should be silos, right? Yeah, and it's plural because it's asking for towers, plural. So what could this be instead? Oh, it could be a saga, that's definitely a long story, okay. Scoring 100% on, that could be acing, like a test. French writer Jean. I'm not sure if I know this person. Let's try to get some crossing help here. Lemonade plus blank equals Arnold Palmer. That's iced tea, yeah. Arnold Palmer was a golfer that got a very tasty summertime drink named after him. Okay, like the equation y equals 2x plus 3. Is that a linear equation? It would be a line on a graph if you mapped it out. I think so. Out does in a back and forth. Could that be one ups like in an argument? Yeah. Superiors to corporals. Is that sergeants? I guess this could be Jean Genet. It sounds fairly plausible. Prefix with seps. Could that be triceps like in your arm? Capable could be adept, okay. Arthur Blank Stadium, US Open locale. Yeah, that's Arthur Ashe Stadium. He was a very good tennis player in the 70s. Ran out of battery, that could be died, yeah. That gives us situ, in situ, as found. Yeah, that's Latin. And then big name in ice cream is Edie, yeah. The very crosswordy ice cream brand, Edie. It showed up yesterday too. Title lyric heard 41 times in a 1965 Beach Boys hit. 
Um, isn't that help me Rhonda? Hmm. I'm starting to think anchor leg might be just a regular answer because look at these two. Rock Me Amadeus and Help Me Rhonda. They're both song titles and they're formatted in the same way. They're both kind of requests. Rock Me Amadeus, Help Me Rhonda. Yeah, I wonder if we're gonna get two more song titles here. Um, let's finish up this center section and then peek at this next theme answer. Place that's an appropriate rhyme for ah. Could that be a spa because you're relaxing? Okay. One's foretelling the future, that would be Sears. You know what, let's take a peek at this next theme answer. Now that we know that it's gonna be a song title that has a request in it, let's see if we're able to get it without any crossing help. Red-haired toy craze of 1996. Oh, it's not gonna be a song. It's still gonna be a request though. That was the Tickle Me Elmo, right? <laughs> Very nice. Okay, so they're not necessarily song titles, but they are all requests. Let's see what this last one is. Request from the voracious plant in Little Shop of Horrors. Yeah, that was definitely Feed Me Seymour. <laughs> that movie's so funny. Both versions of that movie are great. The original Roger Corman one and the 80s remake. Yeah, they're both great. Okay, conservationist John, who co-founded the Sierra Club. I want to say this is Muir, John Muir. I think there's a lot of things in California that are named after him, like Muir Woods, stuff like that. Italy's Blue Grotto is a famous one. Hmm. I'm not sure what this is. It seems like it should start with C, maybe, because it's a grotto. Is it like a sea cape, maybe? School for three and four-year-olds informally. That's got to be pre-K, another word for preschool. Persian Gulf land abbreviated. Yeah, that has to be the United Arab Emirates. I wonder if it is Sea Cape. They say this ain't over until the fat lady sings. I think they're talking about opera in that case. All right, it is kind of looking like it's going to be Sea Cape. Large wine container. Oh, maybe this is actually going to be vat, and then this is going to be a sea cave. Okay, that makes sense too, being a grotto. Okay. Make the rounds. Oh, this is great. We've got a wordplay clue that's indicated by this question mark at the end here. So what you have to do with wordplay clues is kind of ignore the standard reading of the clue. Making the rounds in this case would usually be about maybe like a guard making the rounds, checking on everything. So instead, what you have to do is look for a kind of a punny answer. Um, in this case, I think there could be a pun about rounds. Rounds could also mean rounds of alcohol. So if you're making rounds of alcohol, you could tend bar. Yeah, that's a great one. That's a very good example of a wordplay clue. I'm glad we got that one today. All right, classic Spanish rice dish. That has to be paella, I think. Yeah, that one's got a lot of good letters in it. Okay, a large feline kept as a pet by Salvador Dali. I think he had an ocelot. Okay, no blank do, that should be no can do. Color me impressed. And when you have a clue all in quotes like this, that means we need to come up with an equivalent phrase for color me impressed. So maybe that could be I'll be. It's a similar meaning there. Christopher who directed Dunkirk. Is that Christopher Nolan? Signs of nearby sharks. Could that be fins? That sounds pretty likely. Clothing store department could be men's. And then stars are symbols in movie ratings. Yeah, okay. Heed could be obey. What's this long down here? Call wrongly? Could that be misname? Designer item from Hermes or Kate Spade. Uh, I think that's probably a bag. So edge could be the sharp part of a knife. Yeah, okay. Penalty for missing the payment deadline. It's gotta be a late fee from like a bank or something. That gives us I as an equivalent phrase for yes, Captain. Yeah, that looks good. Adidas competitor. 
Um, is it Asics? They make shoes too, right? Comment after getting off a dizzying amusement park ride. Um, hmm. Could it be I feel sick? <laughs> I've had that experience, yeah. Going on spinny rides as an adult is a much different experience from when I was a kid. Okay, expletive, my toe. Hmm, so this is something that you shout when you stub your toe. Could it be Yelp, maybe? Let's see if that's right. Stitches. No, this should be sews, right? Yeah, so maybe it's yow. That's like a cry of pain. We were pretty close with Yelp. Yeah, we just didn't have exactly the right word there. VIPs at board meetings should be chief executive officers, yeah. And that's abbreviated because there's this abbreviation in the clue, VIPs. And that leaves us with a mess, a military cafeteria, yeah. You'd probably see sergeants and corporals there. All right, big initials in 1990s internet. That's gonna be America Online. Yeah, and it's abbreviated again because there's this abbreviation here. Boy, it's kind of amazing how AOL disappeared. They were such a behemoth in the 90s. Okay. Bonus item? Hmm. Bonus item. I'm not sure what this is going to be. Let's get some crossing help. Ultimate purpose. Hmm. I wonder if that could be end use. That's a little tricky there. Activity for a snow day. Hmm. It's not a snowball fight. It's not about sledding, is it? A snow day. Hmm. Er, I think I'll pass. Another equivalent phrase. This is looking like it's going to be, um, no. <laughs> a little hesitation, but not really. Gripe. This is going to be a complaint. This could also be a verb. This is a little tricky. Gripe could be the verb to gripe, or it could also be a noun for a complaint. Cogito ergo blank. This is a quote by Descartes. You've probably heard the English version, I think, therefore I am. Cogito ergo sum is the Latin equivalent. Um, maybe this could be moan. Yeah, this would be the verb to gripe. Okay. Um, maybe this could be a sled ride. Yeah. Okay, and then that gives us Nina for 99 Luft Balloons Singer 1984. I think that's right. I'm not 100% sure on that one. Bonus item could be an add-on. Yeah, okay. Falco of the Sopranos. That's Edie Falco. But an equivalent phrase, maybe? Quotes aren't always equivalent phrases. Sometimes they're used to indicate that there's a difference between the connotation of the language in the clue and the answer. So but could be a casual word for a word in the answer that isn't using casual language. I'm not sure what this is gonna be though. Is this about your rear end or is it about like a cigarette butt? Could it be a cig? I don't know about that. That doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. Which came first, this or the chicken? Um, it has a question mark at the end, but I don't think this is actually really wordplay. This should just be egg. And that finishes the puzzle at 21 minutes. Not too bad of a time for a Monday. We were kind of taking our sweet time here. Let's untangle this little corner at the bottom real quick here. I guess this is SIG. That's very interesting. I guess they are talking about cigarettes. I wonder why this is in quotation marks. Yeah, this doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I mean, you could have a butt of a cigarette, but I don't think you would ever call a cigarette a butt, or even a cig a butt. Um, yeah, this is a little weird. If any of you all out there have an explanation for exactly how a butt could be a cig, let me know. I'd be interested to see if I'm missing something. Um, and then we had keg here, large beer container. Yeah, okay, that does make sense. All right, so we didn't even have a revealer today. We just had four kind of pop culture phrases that all are in the form of a request. Feed me Seymour. I love that one. I love Little Shop of Horrors. It's so campy and fun. And then we had Tickle Me Elmo, Help Me Rhonda, and Rock Me Amadeus. 
Almost all of these are music related. The only kind of outlier is Tickle Me Elmo, yeah. But still, all very good phrases. And I'm super happy we got this one wordplay clue here, make the rounds for tend bar. That is a perfect example of a wordplay clue. So if you start doing later week New York Times puzzles, you're gonna see a lot more clues like that one. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed responding to all these requests with me. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the Tuesday puzzle. And I think that's gonna do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.